First leg of the triple trio here, race number five at Chartin on Wednesday night. There's a decent jackpot going into it as well. Details on that in a moment. Class four of the 200 metres, headed by Goldie Flanker. Course and distance winner two, two starts back. Five times he's won over the 200 metres in the past. Blinkers on for the second time for Handsome Rebel. Elite Boy's got pace, as has Gunner, but he gets up with barrier number 11. Breeze of Spring returns to your weather. Winner over the 1200 at Chartin earlier the season on the turf. Striking Mr. C. Two time course and distance winner this season. Resolute makes his all weather debut and down to Wei Fung Charmer, who was OK behind Little Thunder last time out. He is a winner over course and distance last season. Gunner, Bonda Star, Striking Mr. C, and Victory Mastery. Horses that have been up at Chung Farm in the last month, Mark. And the speed, Andrew, good with striking Mr. C as he did last time leading. Elite boy outside of him. Gunner might get left wide around Handsome Rebel. Breeze of Spring, Weifung Charmer, a resolute star superior. Goldie Flanker, Bonda star, victory mastery. And a length away last of all, Paula Sky is supreme. Nice race, uh, this one once again. And the uh, first one we're going to have a look at here is Bonda star. He's only had the one start. He did finish on, towards the back. That was on the... Uh, Grass, he's now on the turf here. He's got a good draw barrier three. Looked a bit hot in the morning, though. That was just the query for him. Just not a show him because he only had the one start. Striking Mr. C, uh, he's been running well on the surface. He's a two-time winner already from his four starts this season, both on the surface. And uh, he goes nicely enough in his track work in the morning, but he generally does. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is Resolute. Thought it was a nice piece of work here. You can see Little Thunder there as well, who is uh, racing in one. But Resolute... He's trialled really well on the surface and he goes really well in his track work on it as well. OK, we'll come back to Resolute in a moment or so. Details on the triple trio. We've got 3.2 million going into the pool. Some estimated dividend in the region of $7 million. If you're a triple trio player, it all starts here. We'll start with Sky Supreme, striking Mr C, star superior, Wayfield Chamber and Goldie Flanker. Striking Mr C's been good with his two wins, Mark, but they have been in Class 5 this season. They have, and he drew barrier number one in this race, Andrew. He's got barrier number 12 on Wednesday night, but he does find the line nicely. Wayfield Chamber's a little wider out. Striking Mr C's given a good sight for a long way here, Paul, but is run down by a little thunder. Sky Supreme hits the line nicely. Yeah, it was a nice uh, nice run from him. And I thought uh, Waifung Charmer as well, the lightweight's going to be given a bit of a chance. He's got a little bit further back than normal in that race. All right, Resolute's uh, one of a number of horses on the programme. Makes his uh, all-weather debut. We've seen him three times on the turf, Paul. This is uh, Happy Valley running sick. Yeah, this is his best run uh, since he's got here. The blinkers did go on him uh, for this race. And he, look, he had to work really hard. So um, the, the best part of the race is the middle part for him. He faded out late. But prior to this, he, he won a trial really impressively on the all-weather, and he does work really well on the surface. So I'm going to take a chance with him. I think he can slot in behind a fast pace. I had him in the top uh, two or three as well, Resolute, on that trial that Paul mentioned. It was a very sharp performance in that trial. OK, all right. Gunner, he's uh, pretty consistent, um, Gunner. Uh, gets seven pounds off his back, courtesy of Alfie Chan. Barrier 11, but he does like to roll forward, so he's going to have to work. That's the question, isn't it? He's going to be wide on the pace as well. And I think that's one of the reasons I like the other horse, uh, Resolute, because there's going to be three wide on the pace. He's going to be one of them. It's just a matter of uh, how long he can hang on for, I think. He's all weather placing this season was his first race this season, so it was only his second start, but he obviously handles the, um, the surface OK. All right, Hanson Rebels come up as our favourite, uh, Paul Zach Purton, but he's a 20-start maiden so far. Yeah, he is. So I'm going to go with a bit of value in here with Resolute. I think he can get a nice run just behind a really fast pace. He likes the surface and he's worked really well on it. 17 to 1, happy to go with him. To beat Handsome Rebel, uh, look, he's going to have the blinkers back on him. Weifung Charmer has one in Class 5. He's at the bottom of Class 4. If they do overcook it in front, which I think is a possibility, we know Goldie Flank is going to hit the line strongly. 9 2 12 1. With the two, a handsome rebel, even though he hasn't won in 20 starts. His last placing was in Class 3 of four starts ago, Class 4. Uh, four starts ago, he's been in class three since. He carried 133 pounds to run a next second at Our Shall Sink in that race, so he can carry weight. Resolute to run second. Victory Mastery coming onto the your weather over the 1200. Back in distance and three elite boy. Two, nine, 11 and three. Two for me as well, Handsome Rebel. I think the class drop is the key for him and the blinkers going back on. Zach Purton won't hurt his chances either from barrier number six. That's the first leg of the triple trailer. 